Welcome to the Booty Bands More Than Fitness Podcast, your host, Danita Young, and today we're going to be talking about how sleep plays a role of reaching our fitness goals. And so I'm going to bring in Norma. She is a graduate of the Booty Bands Accountability Program, where she worked one-on-one with me and realized, wow, that plays such a huge role into the bigger picture of reaching your goals. And we're going to learn a little bit more into the details as far as how that does. So let's go ahead and get started. Booty Bands and Barbells helps busy women sculpt and tone their bodies in just 15 minutes a day through our physical products and our one-on-one coaching. Hi, Danita. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Yeah, doing doing great as well. What we really uncovered with yours, and we'll just go right into the topic here, was learning how the stress affects the sleep and the sleep is affecting the muscle and the muscle affects our metabolism and our our metabolism affects our fat burn. And so it was a big realization for you. And I wanted just to, um, I want to go ahead and just start with just asking you, what was that like kind of learning that shift when you were in the program? Well, it took me a while to connect the dots, to be quite honest with you. Um, when I came into this program, Danita, I was, I want to get tone and I want to build muscle, but I didn't realize that it involved several things. Like, first of all, I think I found out mindset is what really matters going into this program, having your mindset there. Um, and just mindset and understanding the macros, of course, and then what follows is in your 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 muscle growth and tone. So for me, that was that was a little hard because I'm I'm very self motivated. I work out almost you know five times a week. Um, I thought I was eating well. Um, I discovered I wasn't eating enough protein, um, and my sleep hygiene wasn't that well. So I stressed that a lot. I stressed you know I'm I'm in, I'm on menopause right now. Um, I think I'm been, this is my seventh year and I think there's certain cycles that go on during menopause and I didn't realize that, but, um, I guess it, it does. I don't have the typical hot flashes that everybody does. I don't get those. In fact, I get cold because I have a underactive thyroid. So, um, anyhow, I just, I discovered a lot of things going through this program and, um, how stress affects it, how, um, and my mindset. So. Anyhow, I don't know if I, if I went around it, but, um, no, that's helpful. I appreciate it. I I think what happens, um, you know, as I, as I remember working with you is it was like, oh, okay, well I want to sleep and we have a goal of, yeah, it'd be, it'd be great to have more sleep, but we don't really kind of create the connection that I love what you said to connect the dots, because I think what happens is when the dots aren't connected as we're going through our journey and we don't realize that that everything truly does like hormones has regulated in our sleep and muscle is built in our sleep. So as our goal came in and we're like, yeah, I want to get tight and toned, but you're over here, you're over here, your nutrition looked pretty spot on, except for protein deficient. Yeah. And your workouts, you were working really hard and your form looked really great. And so you're over here thinking, man, I'm trying everything. I'm doing everything, but but also we were like, well, where's your sleep? And you were like, well, my sleep isn't good. And it's almost like we can just as, as women, we can kind of just brush that off. Like, ah, oh, it's, it's not that big of a deal, but I'll just keep pushing through with my workouts. Well, I kept thinking, you know what? I'm in menopause. It's normal not to sleep that much anyway. So that's okay. But I had to force myself to get that sleep hygiene, you know, not look at my, my phone as much, right? Because of the blue light, it keeps you up. I'm still working on that. But I definitely make myself get myself tucked in uh, between 8.30 and 9 now because my body just automatically wakes up at 5 o'clock, 4.30, 5 o'clock. So I'm like, I have to go to sleep sooner then. I can't be going to sleep at 10 or 11 o'clock if I need seven hours. So I'm tucking myself in and I'm telling everybody, please quiet down. I'm going to bed, 8.30, 9 o'clock. I'm in. And that's early. I'm sorry. That is early. But I have to follow and I have to respect my body body's waking up at 4 35 o'clock. So go to bed now. <laughs> yeah. No, so I shut it down. Yeah. No, thanks for sharing that. And, and what comes up is I've spoke to a lot of women about menopause. And so far what they've told me is that 
that the hormones are actually regulating themselves around either two or three. It sounds like yours is four or five. Mm -hmm. And so what it does is it wakes us up during that time. And so I love that you even went to an extent of setting a boundary. A lot of people go, well, it'd be, it'd be nice to go to bed, but other people don't go to bed. So how, how has it been setting boundaries in your life and how have you been able to kind of master just by making yourself a priority? It's been, it's been challenging. I have an 18 year old at home. I, my 20 and 21 are not here. They're in college, but I have an 18 year old who has, who's a football player and he likes to eat late at night. He's got a very high metabolism. So my bedroom is downstairs by the kitchen area. So I hear microwave doors shutting, you know, buttons clicking. And I'm like, I have to get up like last night. I told him, I said, please, I'm trying to go to bed. He goes, mom, it's not even nine o'clock. I said, I know, but I need to sleep. So um, it has been challenging. Uh, My husband is on board with me. Um, If he's watching TV in the living room, which is right outside my bedroom, I say, honey, I'm I'm going to bed. Do your hygiene, you know, your dental hygiene, whatever you got to do, because I'm going to bed. Um, So he does. He, he, he goes in about 20 minutes later sometimes or right away and because he knows sleep is important because if I'm not sleeping, I'm stressing, I'm grumpy, I'm irritable, I'm brain fogged. I, I'm not a good person. I'm not my best with myself or others. Um, I get headaches. I'm impatient. I overeat. Uh, it's just a roller coaster, uh, a cycle. I, I feel like I'm just chasing my tail. So um, they have been really good about that. So it, it took them a while to get into that habit to understand mom needs to go to bed at eight thirty nine 9 o'clock, but they're doing it. So it's, it's yeah. working. Not well, always. Thanks but it's working most and of the I love time. the I love the realistic. I love that you're just like, yeah, it's hard, right? I love it is setting, hard. setting that expectation and setting that boundary can be difficult. And um, for those that are listening right now, there is a there's an awesome uh, we did a podcast recently with a girl um where she was we were learning the steps of boundaries and the first one is setting the intention like hey the point of this is so that you get a happier mom a happier wife yep. like you know setting the intention because as soon as you set boundaries it can make people defensive but if you if you set the intentions where it's like hey i want to be better for us like you know or i want to have xyz in place like it, then it makes people go oh, okay that's the point of the conversation um that's another thing i learned in this program too by the way is setting boundaries for myself and for others with mm-hmm. me. Um, and that was really hard because when you're, you know, in your mid fifties and you're trying to set boundaries with family members, like even your mom, it's hard. And I had to learn that. And I learned a lot from you, you know, setting those boundaries and accepting who I am, how I am today, how I look and my feelings. And that was really hard. And I'm doing that now with my kids and my husband um, when I get upset or triggered about something small, it's like, it's not worth it anymore for me to get stressed because what that means to me is that I start to, my, my heart will start to palpate. Then I start thinking, okay, cortisol is going to go up, <laughs> you know, which means fat, fat, you know, it's going to not let me sleep at night. So don't want to argue with you in the evening, right before I go to bed. Don't want to talk about it. You know, you go to your space, I go to my space and, um, before it was, it was chaotic. And now it's just like, no, I'm doing a lot of self-care and being mindful. Like what really does upset me? Why did it upset me? And what am I doing or not doing so that I, so that I go there without stress. Right. Yep. But it's a work in progress. You know, it's a work in progress. Yeah. And and I look at it as, um, it takes a tiny little adjustment. Like I look at, I look at progress as you're, you're on a railroad track and the tiniest little change in the track will with time will put you into an entirely different state. Yeah. And so that's truly the way to look at it. I think oftentimes we don't look at those tiny little adjustments. Instead, we go to the extremes and the extremes just pings us back and forth, back and forth. And that's where people get really stuck in their journey is starting and stopping or the stressed out and then can't sleep and then not being able to gain the muscle. You know, this is just all extremes. And so where you're finding those levels of balance and being able to set the boundaries, make yourself a priority, go to bed a little earlier. They're all, we all hear these things. They're all tiny little things we've been taught from the very beginning, but truly those little adjustments do make a big difference. They do. And I've learned another thing you you taught me too, that sticks to my mind is progression, not perfection. 
and I'm catching myself um, just, it could be anything like working out, reacting to a situation, wanting to eat because I'm stressed. I've been catching myself. I'm like, why am I doing this? Am I really hungry? No, I'm not hungry. I'm just stressing. I'm freaking out. I've been triggered because of my 18 year old or whatever, but you're not hungry. Stop. You're going to, you know, you're going to sabotage your, your, your goal or, you know, your eating or whatever. So I've learned it's taken me a while for that to connect the dot too. And so that's been real, that was really helpful too. And when you kept saying, you know, you know, progression over perfection, I'm like, what does she mean? I'm like, I do that a lot. I was doing it a lot. <laughs> it's either all or nothing. And I stopped doing that. It's like, you know what? I made a mistake. It's okay. We're going to start over, <laughs> you know? So thank you. Thank you. Denita. These are massive wins. Uh, I Thank you for doing it. I mean, I, yeah, yeah, I can. I can tell you the information, but you have to apply it and you just soaked yeah. it in. So like, yeah. you should be proud of yourself too, for the accomplishment of, of doing it. That's awesome. I have to tell you this program, I didn't go in there with the, the mindset of thinking it's going to help me with my mindset. I'm going to come in with this program and I'm going to come out in tone and muscle, but it was mindset that I was really working on a lot that you helped me with a lot. So I'm still working, you know, I'm still working out and I'm, it's a little progress and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm down to maybe say 139, which isn't bad, you know, and clothes feel really great. So I'm good. You know, I'm not going up. I'm maintaining more or less where I left off at the program. So I feel yeah, good. There's, I, get, my I get a lot of perfectionist, a lot of extremes that come in. And it's because they've joined a lot of programs that yeah. will say, you know, X, Y, Z, right? And so yeah. I, I look for more of the thanks that's your 80-year-old self. I hope that when you're 80 years old, you come back and say, wow, did you change my life from then till now? And wow, yeah. did it really make an impact? Rather than, you know, those, those short, like, oh, yeah, thank you in just two weeks from now. Like, no, yeah. I'm looking for the long-term thank yous of this completely changed my life. And that's what I, that's what I get to hear. And that's the rewarding ripple effect that I really look for. Well, it's still with me. So thank you. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So back to your point you were talking about, as far as connecting the dots, worrying about things that we have no control over, which then creates that stress, like all those things you were talking about. I have to share with you. I was just talking to a member just uh, this last mm -hmm. week and she's, she's in her sixties and she's been struggling, very similar experience. It was a struggle, struggle, trying to reach, trying to reach the goals and living a lot of in extremes. And what her situation was, is her son. And I think he's more in his like twenties, twenties or thirties, but he, um, was really struggling in his relationship to the point that they were thinking of getting a divorce. And so oh. mom, which I'm working with mom, she is, she, for years, she's been thinking about the divorce, thinking about how the family's going to fall apart, how it's going to affect the kids. And she's just, she's just worrying about something that is outside of her control, a divorce, she cannot influence that's between the relationship. And so she has been up at night, not sleeping, yeah. stressing out for years. And so I'm over here trying to like help her with just the nutrition and the workouts. But I know that the final piece is the mindset. So I'm like, yeah. I was like, honey, why are you worrying? Why are you stressing out? And she goes, yeah, it's this, it's this marriage. I just don't want it to fall apart. I see the ripple effect it's going to do. And I said, yeah. but do you have control over that? And she goes, no. And I, and she's a believer of God. And she just sat back and she goes, you know what? And I said, what do you need to tell yourself right now? And she just goes, I need to let God handle this. And I got to stop thinking that this is something I am controlling. And I, and then she, and I said, how does that feel? And she goes like the biggest weight is off my shoulders. Yeah. Yep. I've done that too, where I just have to trust in our Lord. And again, it's, progression you know there are days where it's just lifted off and you feel relief and you're just like yes I get this and then you get that little moment you know where you get that stress coming back and then you have to mm -hmm. remember again you know what what did I learn what made me feel good I try to take myself back to like okay when I was feeling stressed or anxious what did I do I did some breathing exercises you know I calm my nervous system or whatever you want to call it down and then I felt better and then I have to think to my, and I think to myself after I'm done, cause I feel so good and relieved and just relaxed. I have to think whenever I feel like fat again, I need to remember how this made me feel, you know, and just step back. And why, why am I feeling and recognize those feelings? Cause I was ignoring those feelings too, 
recognize that I'm getting anxious, I'm getting upset, I'm getting sad, I'm getting worried. Why? And then just, or just start writing it down. And before I, I didn't even write things down. Now I write it down. So that helps me too. So anchoring that what you're doing right there is anchoring, allowing yourself, to, your nervous system to remember the letting go peaceful emotion so that you know what it feels like. Cause what, cause what happens is there's an emotional home we get used to. And for me, it was high stress at once upon yeah. a time, because yeah. When I had high stress, I had high adrenaline. And when I had high adrenaline, I was able to get more done. Why was I, why was I doing that? Was because the root belief of me was thinking I wasn't enough. Yep. And that was me trying to be, be busy, do more, faster. Yeah, it was crazy. That's that's what I was doing. And I stopped, I slowed down too at home. I'm like, I need to just stop. I need to slow down. I need to read. I need to self-care. I need to just relax and stop being such a busy bee, you know? Just don't worry, you can't do it all. So I've learned that so just, just realize. it is it's a distractions of work because and then we hear work 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 like that's how we've all been conditioned and raised to think that if you're working then you're then you're you're in movement you're progressing and you're thinking okay that's the right way when your emotional home is full of stress and chaos which you mentioned cortisol cortisol straight hormones that is disrupting your not only your sleep but your ability to build the muscle which is your ability to get sculpted and toned so you start yeah. connecting the dots and realizing well what if i had an emotional home that was i am enough and i am peace it feels a little foreign to our bodies because we've been living so many years of this high, high stress. So we go, that's a weird feeling, but that's how the, that's what I've been looking for my whole life. And now if I just actually believe and, and, and go back to my past events and stories and say, no, I've been enough this whole time that we did with each other. And you go, that well, took me a while to understand when you were telling me those things, because I lived in that for so many years as a child and a young adult. And even now. And you had to really explain it patiently, compassionately, lovingly to me, like, it's not supposed to be this way. And you taught me how to just calm myself and self-care. And it, it's made such a huge difference. It really has. Because when you do live in that, Danita, it is hard to get out of that cycle. It mm -hmm. really is. When, you, when you've grown up to feel that, and then you end up in relationships that are similar to that feeling of anxiousness, anxiety, that you're not good enough. It, it's just, it takes over. It, it feels like a normal and it, it's not a normal feeling you should be feeling all the time. So, so thank you again. You're, oh, my goodness. You're welcome. <laughs> and so proud of yourself again for receiving the information yeah. truly um, that you had to, you had to trust in order to then receive and to let mm -hmm. go and to trust because it's in a way, it's kind of like jumping off a cliff. Because yeah. it's an it's a weird unknown feeling. You're like peace, love, surrender. I'm enough. Yeah. Like it, it's it's like jumping off a cliff, and you're kind of like, oh, is it safe on this other side? You know, because your yeah. your emotions are just so used to the other way, and so it's it's like a death of the old self. And and yeah, that's and the reason why I had to do it is because as somebody gently did it to me, and I thought, well, everybody needs to feel this. Then, yeah, that's eh, not normal. So. Yeah. So yeah, the difference you guys, as you hear her voice today, it, it's listen to her voice. It is so much more calm and peaceful and collected. When I first had my first call with Norma, oh boy, <laughs> it was very, very, uh, sentences were cut off and, and it was qu quickly trying to figure, you know, it was very, very, um, neurotic is the best way to describe it is it was very like flustering and so just the actual hearing your voice and I want those that are listening to it isn't it calm and don't you actually feel her more in balance isn't that pretty cool I'm glad I hello oh somebody's trying to come in um I I, I did talk like that and I was very emotional and I cried a lot I remember crying a lot when we would get on the phone or you'd start talking to me about what I'm supposed to be feeling Danita and I would start just tearing up, you know, because I was so nervous. I was so anxious about what was going on in my life. So, you know, it's, it, it made, a, it's made a huge difference for me. So I've, I, I can tell I'm a lot calmer and I can tell when I'm being triggered by a family member or a situation that I, I don't react as much. I'm pretty quiet. I walk away. I'm just, you know, not worth it. Not worth the cortisol. You know? <laughs> That's the title. Not yeah. worth the cortisol. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you just, mentioned, 
Yeah. You mentioned some techniques of sleep. One of them is the blue light. Uh, tell mm -hmm. us a little bit more about that and what you've learned about blue light and sleep. Well, I just learned that you should not uh, be on your phone or watching TV at least an hour before you go to bed because it triggers your your brain or the blue light has something. I don't really understand the technical science, but it keeps the, the, the mindset of the brain awake. It doesn't allow you to completely go into like a REM deep sleep, which is what we need to re rejuvenate our cells and build muscle and, and what have you. Um, so I, like I said, I, I really try to shut that down before an hour. Uh, and if I am going to go to bed, sometimes I do it, you know, I'm human. Sometimes I'll, I'm going to bed at eight 30 and I'll look at my texts or, or emails and I'll catch myself. I said, no, you're going to bed. It's almost nine o'clock. You need to go to bed because if you don't, you're going to have a hard time going to sleep. So I, I don't do that. So I'm, I'm off it, you know? I, 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 I'm more mindful about that is, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Cause before I could stay there for an hour before I go to bed, but, but blue yeah. light is not good for us. And do you substitute it with anything, um, book reading or journaling or, or do you just go straight to bed? So I pray and, um, you know, thank God for my blessings and praise them. I'm very thankful. Um, and I typically, by that time, I'm ready to go to bed because my body's now used to it, 8, 30, 9 o'clock. Now, if I can't, for whatever reason, because my mind is racing, you know, what I'll try to do is, um, and I've done it more consistently than I had been before, this program, is I just get up. If I can't sleep in 15, 20 minutes, I'm getting up. I'm going to write it down. Get it off my mind. Just do like a dump load. Like you taught, taught us, just brain dump. Just write it down go to bed. If I can't still go to sleep, then I try deep breathing exercises where you breathe in and hold and then release. And that typically helps me. I don't know. It just calms me down. That works for me. So that's one, that's one thing that I do too. Um, meditate. I'm not as good as meditating, uh, but mindfulness, I, I think that's what I've I'm more aware of like, what am I doing before I go to bed? Um, and just doing my hygiene and just settling my mind. I think for me, it's important for me just to kind of just settle and not, not think about anything, just go to bed. Yeah. So that's been really helpful. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for sharing those ideas. Some of them, I actually didn't have those ideas. And so that'll be helpful. Uh, for those that are listening, I have a few other ideas too. One is mm -hmm. if you have a partner, I call it pillow talk. And yeah. it's, it's a nice way to kind of just, uh, in, in a way it's almost kind of meditative. I, I like you, I have a hard time meditating because I think there's, I think instead of just going from straight life to all of a sudden clearing your mind completely, there has to be somewhat of a transition. And so the transitions for me have been uh, pillow talking and just, it's, it's been a really fun thing. I'll, you know, it's kind of a new thing in our relationship where I'm like, wait, we can't go to bed if we have to pillow talk. And he's like, all right, go ahead and talk. And he's like already pretty much asleep. And I'm over there like, da, 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 you know, <laughs> but in a way it's, well, so, in a way it's totally I, getting all those thoughts out, like journaling. That, that is a great idea. I wish that I could do that with my husband, but we sleep in separate rooms. Eee! Normal. Because normal. He's a, snore, he's a snorer, you know? So yep. again, I need quiet. I, I can't see any lights and it has to be dark and cool. And he's all about that, except the light doesn't bother him. And he's just a loud snorer. So we've been doing this for years. It works for us. We're good in our relationship. So we're good. So yeah, I talk to myself, I guess. <laughs> there you go. Story. You can probably talk to yourself. The other yeah. idea is I'm going to send a few links down the link below. And I'll also send them to you as well, Norma. Dr. Joe Dispenza, he is such a yeah. phenomenal guy that allows me, he has all these really amazing guided meditations and to listen to those which are either full of gratitude or the science of the brain, rewriting your nervous system, it has really transformed a lot of my life. I've been listening to him for at least about a year. And there's a couple okay. others that I'll send over to. And I'll make sure those that are listening, I'll drop those in the comments down below so you guys get them. But okay. those to me... I keep them on my, I keep them on my phone in a saved folder. So if I'm having one of those nights where I'm just spinning in all the thoughts, should have, would have, mm -hmm. could have, what if, da, 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 all those things, then I just listen to something like that. And that really seems to like put me into more of a calmies too, because really you guys, the truth, 
to get to your higher self is truth. Anytime that you go towards truth, somebody that knows what they're talking about or actually leaning towards source, that is always going to put you into your alignment. If you're listening to things that's just not accurate, you just, it's not truth. And so when you lean towards that is when you can really break through. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Super helpful. So um, the last question I have for you, Norma, is if somebody is struggling, whether if it's sleep, the I'm not enough, you know, just kind of imagining the older past version of you. And they're just like, man, is there hope is, I mean, is it possible that I can really find a better, newer version of myself? Like, how would you kind of almost speak to somebody that's listening that is just not really have jumped off the cliff into their newer version of themselves yet? Well, first of all, I definitely would do a lot of listening to see what's going on and be very compassionate um, and just let them know they are enough. You know, they've always been enough. They are enough. And um, not to listen to external, you know, sort of uh, sources out there who are limiting their beliefs of who they really truly are. You know, it's hard out there you know, you, you compare yourself to a lot of people on social media, that's a lot of pressure. You get it from your family, you get it from friends and you just have to believe in yourself and, and just love yourself and accept yourself. You know, that was something really hard for me to do. It's, it was, it took me a long time to really accept, you know, what I look like, um, you know, everything. And I just thought, you know what, I am good enough. I'm in my mid fifties, always going on sixties and I'm healthy. I can work out. Most people this, these, at this age, they, they have a really hard time. You know, they're challenged to, to walk three miles, four miles, lift weights, you know? Um, it, so I'm blessed and I have to remind that person just to remember what they've been blessed with and to stay strong and, you know, continue to work uh, towards their goals and, and just believe in themselves, just believe in themselves and just be compassionate to yourself, just like you would with a friend. And that took me a long time. How would you treat a friend? That's how you need to treat yourself is with, with uh, kindness and compassion and love and self-care. That's, that's what I would tell them and just continue to tell them they are, they are good enough. They're worthy. Yeah. And you guys, even what's so cool, she's talking on a scientific, there's so much proof out there of gratitude where you're talking about being blessed changes a frequency. You can't see it, but it literally changes a frequency and it, it actually does help you reach your goals. And so pretty cool. So thank you for sharing that Norma. I just, I really value your time for coming on today. Well, I, thank you for having me. I appreciate, I, appreciate, I appreciate you and, and, and the trust that you gave this program and to me and to have stepped into the progression side of it and just really starting to now, not only do you do that for yourself, but I see the ripple effect that it's going to do for your children or for those that are watching. And now that you've done it for this podcast, you have no idea the lives that people go, wow, I was so stuck in Tell Norma's podcast. And I hear that <laughs> all the time. Yeah. Well, I hope it helps somebody because your podcast and your program, you have helped me a lot. So like I said, I went in thinking one and I came out with another, which is actually helping me with the rest of the stuff now. So the mindset is a powerful thing. And so I'm, I'm, it's still a work in progress for me, but I'm a lot better than I was six, nine months ago. So thank mm -hmm. you. Thanks Absolutely. again. I really mean it yeah. <laughs> from the bottom of my heart. It, it really yeah. has helped me. Yeah. I receive that. And it used to take me so long to receive something like that, but I received yeah. that. I, and I appreciate that so much. I, I, oh, I feel like my heart's going to explode. Trust me, I am using a lot of these tools that you showed me. And I think I share that with you is with my, with my children, you mm -hmm. know, just being more aware of what I was that I don't want them to feel, mm -hmm. you know, like what I felt. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want them to feel that way. So I give a lot of love, a lot of just unconditional love to those kids. So yeah, taking her power back and oh, it's, mm -hmm. it's pretty cool. I'm, I'm glad that you guys were able to experience this with me because Norma has just changed so dramatically. And I'm so glad that you took the time and jump on here because you guys, you can hear it from her. Like that has just been such a great transformation. So thank you again, Norma, for your time. And thank just you, thank you.
thank you for being such an inspiration. It really does create the world a different place. So thank you. Again. Thank you for everything again. You're welcome. Bye, hon. Bye, Sue. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, this, this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a while since it felt like this, 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 this. We've been a Since it felt like this.